A couple weeks ago, a company called Shine Armor reached out to me. They wanted me to do an honest review on the product. It's like a detail spray on waterless ceramic coating. I've never actually used ceramic coating before, uh, but I know like it's the bee's knees. So this is the way the kits are sold. I actually have two kits. So one kit, you're gonna get two microfibers, a spray nozzle, and, and an eight ounce bottle of the Quick Coat by Shine Armor. This one eight ounce bottle is supposed to last six to 12 months. On a bike, literally, probably last you three years. Dang, you guys. This product works so freaking good. It won't get rid of like scratches, like if like if you were to buff with wax and stuff. But if it it it'll clean up like oxidized paint and things like that. Check this thing out. It's crazy. It's insane, isn't it? Look at that. This is just plastic. This is like plastic paint. Same with up here. This isn't a professional job. Like you can see my reflection right in the. So and then let's move on over to like powder coat. This is a powder coat frame. Same with the wheels, they're powder coat. Look at that. If you wanna buy some of this stuff to make your ruckus boat, car, or whatever look freaking beautiful, I'll put the little link down below in the video. So the truck's all cleaned up. Again, this has never been waxed or treated in any way. This is a brand new truck with brand new paint. Spray on the rag. Do half the hood, so I'm only gonna do half. And then you'll kind of let it dry and then come back around and buff that out. So I've treated only this side of the hood. The water spots are still there. On this side, the water spots came right off. Super clean. Um, now let's do the little water test. I, I'm impressed though. I'm, it's super like slick. You can feel the difference for sure. So this side beads up. This side kind of, it doesn't really beat up. Son of a gun, I'm, so I'm trying to do this review video. Getting everything set up. It's a little quieter here. <laughs> so yesterday we treated this side of the truck. We didn't treat the other side. Um, and then we poured that water onto the hood. Kind of wanted to do two things. We wanted to see how it beat it off. And then the other thing is we let it set for 24 hours. And then you get those hard water stains on your, on your hood. My question is, is it going to be easier to wipe those hard water stains off with the treated surface or is it going to be the same as the untreated? So here is some pretty wicked uh, hard water spots and then we've got some more over here on this side on the treated area. I'll just kind of do a pan so you can see the hood here and then here's the other side. Same type of thing. So I'm going to try to get this, this little general area nice and uh, cleaned off. So. The spray on the rag. Oh, you gotta make sure that the lock is the open. Spray on the rag, not the truck. Kind of work it in. And then, comes off really, really easy. I'm curious what's gonna happen on this other side. So I'm just rub it off real good. Then I just buff it off with a really nice and clean microfiber. So that came off real, real nice, it's super slick. This side, you can feel a, a difference. So let's go ahead and try the other side now. Here's a hard water stain right here. So let's put some elbow grease into it. It's coming off decently. So far, it's pretty impressive. It works pretty dang good. Super, super slick too. Look at that. I cleaned the rest of the truck with it already I just left the hood so either way whether it's treated or it's not it definitely still cleans the water spots off the hard water spots but I will say it's slightly better with the treated area if it's already been treated the the spots come off easier it's not like a night and day difference but it's noticeable I give shine armor an A plus definitely for like painted surfaces on this truck it worked out really really good it looks better than it did new